you send out central institutes, which will forever be remembered in history. I have shown your excellence that the gas, the bad people are pissed, and a lot of evil people who are determined to support all positive programs of this administration. As you must have noted, some of our sons serving in your present administration, including my very self, humble self, which is more than three years old, must have distinguished themselves in various assignments and responsibilities given to them. I will use this opportunity, Your Excellency, to call on for Your Excellency to call on you and the government of Congo State to extend some palliative measures on our local internal roads in We have the number of them, but because they are aware that the demand of government is endless. And we not to go for all the roads. So we mentioned the few in Kaye, Kokeniko, Makero, the ones that are the government. Only for the world, for the day, we thank you for the way in Ibarra, to only for the world. But we need to continue to feel the only for the world, so that that new development continues to enjoy the presence of government. And say thank you to your excellency. I don't know. I don't know. I don't so that we in the central district, from the central, will enjoy this entire road. I must say this, residents, that we believe this road will provide very strong and positive impact on the commerce of the people in the United States. I will say this to the States. I also want to appeal to the chair in one of the United States. I am in the United States. I am in the United States. I am in the United States. Thank you very much for the message. I have a plan for the development of the United States and the United States and the United States in general. Of the center 
So we believe that as we leave the center, as the center of the which you are the government, you should please pay special attention to the state capital. I want to welcome I welcome past presidents of the drug season at the academy. I welcome the distinguished members of the club. I welcome their wives because they claimed yesterday that they were always sitting their wives behind, that we are not safe, we are not sensitive about our agenda here. I welcome our distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and of course, Professor Ebenezer, who was a family, who was here yesterday, and I said, see you in America. He said, no, we'll see you tomorrow. You're most welcome. I welcome in particular my brother. I've always told him as the man promises me to promises kept. Even if he did not sign any document with the president, to go ahead and do everything on his behalf. I know that he will, since he said, I will finish the hall. Take care of that. Mm -hmm. but I must thank him for various projects that he undertook to finish. And which I am back upon. The president mentioned the talk, mentioned the the ambassador presidential library flyover that is the mega station mentioned the the Bala uh, Adibe road that has been finished and he requested so many things but I want to thank the governor for the housing estates that we have put all over the, the center. And also for the light road in, at the uh, which is finished beautifully. <laughs> On the day of the commissioning, we mentioned that that road can also lead to Adiola Way. And he said, you can see whatever I can do without it. Please. I know that once you promise it as a piece of paper, you can be rest assured you will do it. So I welcome you, especially to have that come. We don't come and to this edifice that calls to you to be finished. God bless you, Mr. Chairman. And since Yolu has told us that we are like we are in the church or in mosque. That's one thing you never forget. You never forget collection of money. So he said he's doing fundraising. And he said that he started off with half a million naira. And God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello. Marita Irani. Please tell me the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's have a game with the team. Yes. Go ahead, please. Akila Mo. Akila Mo. Anita Ajedu. Mita Mokala.
Excellency, the former governor of Ogo State and one of the founding fathers of our great party, Aremo Odusheko Oshoba. His Excellency, the former governor of the state, Otumba Joseph Ulubega Daniel. His Excellency and former military administrator, Navy Captain Rashid Raji. The Secretary to the Ogo State Government, Mr. Tokumbo Talabi. My former Chief of Staff, Alaji Shwai Salitu. His Royal Majesty, the Alaki and Paramount Ruler of Eglana, Oba Dr. Ajito. Alemu FR, who is also the grand patron of this prestigious club. All members of the Ubuntu Executive Council that have come to either support me or are also members of this prestigious club. The president of Abel Buta Club and his amiable wife. Engineer Chief Tokumbo, or Deputy, who is also the Chairman of the Ubuntu Civil Service Commission, Chief Patai Nawa, past President and Trustee of this prestigious club, all members of the Board of Trustees, eminent and distinguished Elder six men and members of this club. Permit me to please recognize Justice Demona Bakri, retired, the Aro of Eba, Chief Inkes Mufile, Chief Ni Yadimiro, Dr. Femi Maja Kujumi, among several other distinguished and eminent elders of this club. I also like to congratulate and recognize the new inductees of the club, all other distinguished guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. So, permit me to recognize the Nigerian students. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you. Here we It is indeed a pleasure of mine to be here this afternoon and be a part of this very auspicious celebration. Incidentally, I was also invited as a special guest of honor at a convocation ceremony in Lagos. Um, and this convocation is a convocation of a new university called the National University of Technology and Management that has its permanent site here in Ogun State. I had to plead with them that sadly, as much as I would like to be with them because of how much premium we pay we place on science and technology and the fact that we are the education capital of this country. But however, the time also clashes with the 50th celebration of this prestigious club. 
and I will be unable to attend because of the importance that I try to attend this occasion personally. And it is indeed a pleasure of mine, as always, to be amongst the best, the eminent, distinguished leaders, movers, and shakers of Egbalan right here in this prestigious club. Since its establishment 50 years ago, Abelbuta Club has continued to be a trailblazer in providing a platform for wholesome recreation. And more than that, this club has also made recreation a veritable forum to impact on the socio-economic development of Abelbuta in particular and of the state in general. A glance at the rich membership of Abelbuta Club the very eminent membership of this club provides an insight to that socio-economic development of Abelbuta. No doubt, this gathering here is a gathering of Abelbuta. I'm tempted to say that if you're not a member of this club, they need to begin to question whether you are a true son of Abel Kuta. Therefore, one can safely say a celebration of Abel Kuta Club is a celebration of the continued development of Abel Kuta. One cannot be honored but to be a part of this splendid event. I would like to commend the founding fathers of this great club for their foresight. However, more than the pomp and pageantry, this celebration gives us another opportunity to appraise the journey so far. And I use us because I humbly refer to myself as a member of this club, having been honored with the title of being a patron. Therefore, on behalf of the entire government and people of this great state, I join others to congratulate the chairman, engineer, Tukumbo Debumi, members of the executive committee, and all other members of this big club on this 50th anniversary. I'd like to commend the organizing committee and all those who are behind the successful organization of this celebration. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, undoubtedly, Nigeria has the potential to become one of the greatest nations in the world. Apart from our natural resources, we also can brag of the best brains you can find anywhere in the world. And in fact, some of them have at different times, at different stages, demonstrated the Nigerian capacity at the global level. And many of those sons and daughters of Nigeria are from Abel Kuta. We only need to harness this potential for the continued development of our great state and our nation. This is why I particularly find the theme of this great anniversary, which is good governance and misgovernance. The contract called democracy very apt. It will help to direct our focus on providing governance that is truly for the people. As an administration, we believe that governance is all about the people. For this reason, we have continued to formulate policies and implement programs 
that are people friendly. This continues to bring to fulfillment our vision, which is to give Oko State a focused and qualitative governance, while creating an enabling environment for public-private sector partnership, which we believe is fundamental to the economic growth of this state. And when the economy grows, there will be individual prosperity. Towards this end, we are continuing to implement all our programs by making governance inclusive, accountable, fair, just, equitable, participatory, and transparent, but particularly obeying the rule of law. I am happy to report to you that the implementation of our Building a Future Together agenda has been very successful. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you seated here, by extension, all the citizens of Ubu State. Let me assure all of you, and all the people of this great state, that we remain committed to the overall and continued development of this great state. We shall and will continue to provide a more enabling environment for our people, irrespective of their geographical location, their gender, their religious or political affiliation. Let me also assure you that, and again, that no part of this state will be developed at the expense of another part. And I've said it over and over again. I will complete every inherited project from my successors, not successors. The capital city, which is not contestable, will continue to be given the due and recognized attention as the state capital and the seat of government. We are determined to give our state capital the deserving attention and making it a befitting world-class capital for a gateway city like ours. Most of our pilot programs are implemented right here in Abeokuta. Today, under our Ishaya agenda, Ishaya is an acronym for IFA infrastructure, as for social women and welfare, E for education, Y for youth department and job creation, and A for agriculture. Abeokuta by extension, equipment, hosts many of our infrastructural projects. I make bold to say that of our three completed housing projects, amounting to about 1,200 housing projects, a thousand of that alone in Abeokuta. And these projects are namely the Prince Court Kenta, the Prince Court in Diaba, the Prince Court in Kobak Bay Housing Estate. As a matter of fact, we have started in phase two in Kobak Bay, which is another 524 affordable housing units. The truth is that we are not able to build fast enough. People are paying and buying those houses faster than we are building. This is in addition to all other ongoing or completed infrastructure projects, such as the City Gate iconic monument. And I believe that for all those that live here, all those that come to visit us from Lagos, nothing has characterized the entrance of our state, and nothing is more welcoming than when you 
come off the Lagos Bad Expressway and you turn off that interchange and you see that structure. I don't know how many of you have seen that structure at night. The light, the flag, and the park. Compared to what it was before, I believe that this is something that shows that something new is definitely happening in Ogo State. Other sectors of the economy in the areas of the social well being and welfare. We have continued to implement various interventions, which include the supply of medical equipment to several hospitals, including the General Hospital in Odeda, the State Hospital in Abeokuta, several ambulances. Permit me to mention that when I assumed office, when I assumed office, this state that we are estimated to be about between six to seven million people only had five ambulances. Five ambulances. And I always, on the letter note, say one million persons or citizens to one ambulance. Today, Augustine has almost 50 ambulances. 50 ambulances. And we began to operate a 24 hour ambulance service. And most of those ambulances are right here in Ebanan. We have also, as promised, completed the construction of fire stations that are last promised in Odeda, in Owe, and in Info. So we can increase the response time when we have such emergencies. We have rehabilitated the Ibere Kodo Infectious Disease Hospital. I'll continue to rehabilitate primary health care centers across the length and breadth of our six local governments in Ebola. The idea is to ensure that our citizens can walk to a primary health care center to take advantage of our hot and spoke model where you need to be referred from a PHC to a secondary and then to a tertiary. Again, I would like to proudly mention that we launched our Ubu State Mass Transit Bus System on the 7th of April 2022. And that pilot scheme was launched right here in Abeokuta. Again, Ubu State was part of a bid, a bid that included about 20 countries and about 100 cities for urban renewal and regeneration. This bid was sponsored by the United Kingdom Foreign Development Office under the Future Cities Project. I'm proud to say that Ogo State won, and Ogo State won by promoting and presenting the city of Abeokuta. The city of Abeokuta has now qualified for massive urban renewal and regeneration. And you soon begin to see that. Again, we launched on the 15th of April our Digital Economy Infrastructure Project. And this project aims to lay 5,000 kilometers of fiber optic cables across the length and breadth of the state. That pilot of that project also started right here in the at the Tech Hall. We are currently laying fiber optics around the to our hospitals, to our tertiary institutions, and to our markets. Today, I'm proud to say that we thank God for our intervention into the intractable issues at the Moshoud Abela Polytechnic, which have allowed that institution to return to full academic activities. I must again thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. I must again thank the members of this club for the role they play in helping us in resolving the Mapoli issue. For those of you that have been to the cultural center, which is right here, you will notice that it is wearing not just a new look, but a befitting look.
for a cultural city like Abeokuta and a melting point of social, cultural, and traditional heritage. In the area of tourism, arts, and culture, we have continued to promote the Algerian fabric. And I dare say that I am the number one Algerian ambassador. When we assumed office, this Algeria, which is an integral part of the Iran tradition and culture, was dying. The Chinese were coming to Abu Buda, they were stealing those designs. They were taking it back to China. And they were re-importing it, re-exporting it back to us in Oku State. And underselling our men and women of the Algeria market. So we decided that we must do everything to ensure that this medium or small scale enterprise does not die. So I decided as governor that every member of our team, every public servant, every appointee of ours must wear a dire one day a week, and we chose Friday. Distinguished members of this prestigious club. That translated to about 60,000 of us wearing Adire every Friday. And you can imagine, 60,000 of us, we didn't just buy one Adire, we must have bought at least two or three pieces. And let me share with you what that translated to. The Adire ecosystem starts with the person selling the fabric, the person selling the dye, the person tying and dyeing, and of course, the tailors that are sewing the fabric. I'm proud to say that by what we've done, we have created a lot of employment in the entire value chain to the point where we have to launch the Adireo digital marketplace to allow them to cope. So now you do not have to come to Abeokuta to go to Itoku to buy Adire. You can just Go on your internet and you can shop for Adire. Present Adire. And this further underscores the importance that we place on not just Abel Buddha, but a very rich culture and tradition. On our other social services, I'd like to mention. Now we've done quite a bit on the rehabilitation of the Ogun State Water Corporation because I know this has been an issue for us in Abeokuta. We have replaced the corroded gates called the barrages. We have replaced them, we have rehabilitated the entire uh, uh, water works. These for the first time since 1962 that this kind of total rehabilitation of water works would take place. Let me assure you that in terms of storage and processing, we've done that 100%. When I assumed office, there was no power supply at the, at the Benekudu. There was no power supply at the water works. Nepa had disconnected. Generators were not working. But beyond the water storage and capacity, we now have a problem of repairing the water regulation. Most of our pipes have been damaged that by contractors that were constructing roads before I became governor. Be rest assured that we are assiduously working on ensuring the restoration of water supply to our bill. That I inherited that was that the 250 bed hospital. We appreciate the thinking behind this project, which was to provide a world class hospital for the benefit of the indigenous. The project was not quite completed when I assumed office. Some equipment had been supplied, some of them had been commissioned. But when you imagine electronic medical equipment, being commissioned before the hospital itself 
So obviously, some of them warranty have seen the expire without the official commissioning or readiness of the hospital. However, because this administration is all about public private sector partnership, realizing the fact that such level of healthcare can only be provided by the private sector. We have finally signed an agreement with an international first class healthcare provider. They will be taking over that hospital, they will be completing it, and they will be managing it. It will be a world class health institution so that all of us here will have a first bus stop. What will be anything happen? We don't have to begin to jump in our cars and rush to Lagos or even flag of the country. And I know that this will be of interest to our backing. All human endeavor, be it in business, finance, law, education, medicine, to bear in the achievement of our society. I, as your governor, on behalf of the government, look forward to partnering with this club in the continued implementation of our Building Our Future Together agenda. Administration will continue to support and encourage individuals, public bodies, organizations that channel their programs and resources towards the development of the social, political, and economic well-being of our people. I want to assure you that you will find us ready, willing, and worthy partners. The Affair of Club has a preeminent responsibility to forge unity amongst our people. I believe this is one of the reasons why this club was formed. We must continue to work as one united people towards achieving unity and bringing continued development to Ogo State and to Abeokuta in particular. God has placed us all in this vantage position and we should use it as a privilege that the Creator has conferred on you to bring more comfort to our people and society. For us as administration, we remain committed to the promotion of campaign against politics of discord that will disrupt peace and the continued development of our dear state. Look at the quality of things. Well, one is not surprised when you have an engineer as president of such a prestigious club, you cannot expect any less. Well, as you know, that would be on behalf of the state government. Yes, we paid you an installment. I'm also again pledging that you receive another installment uh, before this time next week. So we are redeeming our pledge instrumentally. You had highlighted some roads, and those roads are some of the roads that will be receiving our attention. The Ijae, okay, the Wake Road, particularly, and the, um, the Shaje, Mokola Road, as well. Um, those roads, as well as the Odipolo Boadipe Road, are roads that is latest for our attention. Let, let me reassure our eminent members that as an inclusive administration, we do not just sit down in Okemoto and take decisions on road or infrastructure as it pleases us. But we consult, as a matter of fact, the roads that we consulted in Abeokuta to date. KBSC will tell you that I humbly requested KBSC to sit with fellow KBSC and chiefs and give us the list of roads as they find it their priority. And that is the model that we have used in reconstructing these roads. So these roads that you talked about will receive our attention. I also note the issue of the drainage. The drainage that you said 
you have graciously provided the counterpart construction. You said you have done the counterpart construction on my behalf. I will ask the Ministry of Environment to come and look at it, to the Ministry of Works, to see what we can do to ensure that we complete this drainage problem. 50th anniversary. I'd like to commend the organizing committee and all those members who are behind the successful organization of this celebration. I'd like to salute the Grand Patron, Gabi Esiyalaki, and also all the new inductees. I want to wish you all many more years of useful service to humanity. Above all, I want to thank you for listening to me and God bless you.